Hello everybody, welcome to this platform. This is Sichamba Jacob. All right, so we've got a question right over here. We need to find the value of x. So we're going to say 2 power 3. 2 power 3 will give us 8. And then we bring the brackets here. The reason why we are bringing the brackets is because there is a, a power x. Should I say we bring the parenthesis plus a 2 power 2 here, also parenthesis there, power x, which is equal to 36. The main idea of uh, writing this, I want to balance the bases this side so that I can have the same terms here, at least a common term, so to say, here and uh, right here. So once you do that, you can also, or you can use the property which says that when you've got power to power, you switch them. So here, this will just be a 2 power x and a power 3 here plus 2 power x power 2, which is equal to 36. I hope you can see that now we've got this uh, this term, uh, I mean this uh, element on the, at this term and also this element at this term. They are common. So we can say let, any let of your choice, I'll say m be equal to 2 power x. Uh, okay, so after doing that, you can now substitute m. So this will be m power 3 plus m power 2, which is equal to 36. So once we get this, of course, we can solve this. Uh, I'm going to solve by testing. So I'll start with 1. I put 1 here, 1 here, and try to solve if it to give me 36. No, I put 2, 2. It's not working out. I put 3 here, it's a 27. 3 here, it's a 9. 9 plus 27, it's giving me 36. So I know by testing, by testing, that the value of m is equal to a 3. Let me try to prove. I'll put a 3 here, power 3 plus 3 power 2 is equal to 36. So 3 power 3 is giving me 27 plus 9 here. This is equal to 36. When I add, I'm getting a 36, which is equal to 36. So this one holds. The value of m is equal to uh, a 3. So once we get this 3, we move back or we go back to this stage where we said let m be equal to, okay, m equal to 2 power x. So now we are going to substitute the value of m, which is a 3, right here where m is. That would be 3 is equal to 2 power x. We introduce the logs, okay? So this is log over 3 is equal to log over 2 power x, okay? So now from this stage, we can uh, say log of 3 is equal to x log over 2. We divide by log 2, log 2. These two go, the value of x is coming out to be equal to log base 2 over 3. So this is the value of x. So let's try to prove now. We are going to get the original question where they said find the value of x. We had 8 power x plus 4 power x is equal to 36. So now we substitute x where i mean the value of x here where x is so that is 8 power log base 2 of 3 plus 4 power log base 2 of 3 which is equal to 36 so here we're going to say 2 power 3 log base 2 of 3 plus 2 power 2 log base 2 over 3 is equal to 36 I'm trying to prove here. So using the, the, the log property, this power will come right up here. So it will be 2 log base 2 of 3 power 3 plus 2 log base 2 of 3 power 2, which is equal to 36. Using the log properties, these two cancel. We shall remain with a 3 power 3. Even here, we shall remain with a 3 power 2, which is equal to 36. So 36... Uh, uh, here, 3 power th uh, 3 will give us a 27. 3 power 2 will give us a 9, which is equal to 36. When we add 36, equal to 36, it holds. The value of x is uh, 
this right over here. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Sichamba Jacob. Please remember to share the video and bye-bye. Uh,